Just book lovers displaced by the library's closing. Many of the city's homeless use the building, and now they're trying to find other places to go. That has some people pretty concerned about it. Lauren Reimer explains tonight. Hi, how are you doing? The helping hands of homeless advocates have been working overtime ever since the Burton Bar Library closed last month, leaving the city's 1,500 homeless individuals with one less place to go. At least in the library, they could cool down for a couple hours, you know, take a deep breath and enjoy the air conditioning. Well, now they're just out here all day, 24-7. Sean Fontaine, who's currently homeless, wanted to visit the library, but instead was greeted by a chain-link fence that will stay up till June of next year. It means that um, I just have to basically find something something else to do during the day. Today it meant finding a spot in the shade at Phoenix Civic Space Park in the heart of downtown to the surprise of some returning ASU students. When I came down here for orientation, me and my mom walked around a lot and I did not notice as many homeless people here as there are now, which it's kind of uncomforting. Phoenix Fire says they have recently seen an increase in calls to that park. Over the weekend, several people overdosed on spice here. But they're not saying it's related to the library's closing. Since the library is closed, you probably will see more homeless people migrating towards the city and stuff. I would say just be calm and cautious. You know, you don't really know what's going to happen. I mean, I don't want to advise anybody to be too friendly, but you know, a simple smile could make the world of a difference for these people, you know. That was 3TV's Lauren Reimer reporting.